Reloading your own ammunition can seem very intimidating. The biggest hurdle is often getting into it in the first place. With hundreds if not thousands of equipment options on the market to choose from, many of us don't know where to start. I certainly felt this way when I started reloading. I didn't have a lot of money or space and I wanted something really uncomplicated. So I went ahead and bought a Lee loader. It cost me all of $26. The Lee Loader kit from Lee Precision has been around for about 60 years and it is one of the easiest ways to reload. In a way, the Lee Loader is like a reloader's gateway drug. In the past, the Lee Loader was offered in a variety of chamberings, but these days it's available in only the most popular calibers. Each loader comes with all of the items that you'll need to reload. You may want to add a few things over time, but I'll show you how fast and easy it is to reload a 38 special round with the basic kit. So, with everything set out, I take my brass cases out of the range bag and stack them on the table. The first order of business is taking the dead primer out of the case. Put your decapping chamber on your workspace, insert the case, then shove the decapping rod into the case. Give the rod a few taps with your plastic hammer to drive the old primer out. With that done, it is now time to resize the case, which is accomplished by pounding the case into the die until it is flush. For good wax is usually what it takes for me. Now it's time to prime the case. Place a primer in the primer bullet seater and lay the case on top of it. With a few gentle taps, the primer is seated into the case. Be careful because very hard impacts can cause the primer to pop in the case, so just a few gentle taps is all you need. Put the case back into the decapping chamber and put the die over it. It is now time to make a live round. Take an even scoop of powder or your pre-measured equivalent, then pour it down the funnel shaped part of the die. Select a bullet and drop it down into the die. Take your bullet seater and insert it behind the bullet. Tap the seater with your hammer sharply until the seater stops. At this point, you have a loaded round of ammunition. But for one reason or another, you may want to crimp the case around the bullet. This certainly helps with feeding and promotes good accuracy as well. And there you have it. With some practice, all of this gets a lot easier. Some of you may want to do things slightly differently than me, and that's fine. Over time, you can even add a few items to make things easier. The Lee Loader is not without its quirks. As you can see, it's very basic, but it does work, and I love using it to load a few rounds to go down and shoot off at the range. For $30, it's hard to go wrong with this reloader. Please read the full review where we go into much more detail about the quirks, additional items I bought, loading different calibers, and everything else I've learned using the Lee Loader for many years now. There's a link directly below this video if you're not already on the Guns.com page. And don't forget to subscribe to the Guns.com YouTube channel to enjoy many more fun and informative videos such as this.